Scientific research has always been the cornerstone of the work of the Stress Reduction Clinic and the Center for Mindfulness. It is through rigorous clinical and basic science research that MBSR and other mindfulness-based interventions have been shown to be effective and useful to people from all walks of life. We would assess people before on various measures and then assess them afterwards. The research then went to uh, a much higher level of randomized clinical trials uh, to try to really uh, discern in a much more uh, stringent way what was going on with these people, say at the level of the biology, at the level of brain function, at the level of the immune system. We wouldn't be here uh, 30 years later if it wasn't for the science because you wouldn't have anything to, to, uh, to talk about. You could just say, well, people think it's a good idea and they like it. One of the first randomized trials to test the potential efficacy of mindfulness meditation was conducted in a study on psoriasis patients at UMass. While all the patients in the study were treated with the standard ultraviolet phototherapy, those in the experimental group were instructed to listen to guided mindfulness meditation tapes while undergoing treatment. The uh, group that was randomized to stress reduction uh, were more successful in seeing the decrease in uh, the psoriasis than the group that was not. To tell you the truth, I didn't believe it. It was too phenomenal a result. For people who are meditating between 30 seconds and 10 minutes, twi th three times a week for four months, they're not allowed to take tapes home and practice with them at home like in MBSR or anything like that. So it seems like, wow, this is affecting a healing process. Uh, another one was a study that we collaborated with Dr. Richard Davidson and his colleagues at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, and that was on a worksite study where we randomized uh, a workforce uh, uh, into an experimental group who took the eight-week MBSR program in a control group who did not take it. We actually did it with not the traditional MBSR clientele, but rather with uh, a group of highly stressed employees at a high-tech corporation in Madison. The study demonstrated that MBSR compared to a control condition uh, did indeed change brain function in specific ways uh, over the course of eight weeks. Uh, we tested them with a flu vaccine and measured their antibody responses over the course of many weeks following the course. And what we found is that uh, the participants in the MBSR group showed a significant boost in their response to the vaccine compared to the control group. And the, the amount that their brain changed actually predicted how much the vaccine was effective. Uh, so this was really a landmark study in many ways and really I think the beginning of the era of modern research on meditation.